proud. There's a great sense of Houston pride here. Diverse, there's so much diversity of culture and different peoples in this community, which I love. And uh, lastly, fun loving. I find people to be so friendly here, but also they're ready to have a good time. When I put together this season or any season, I kind of do it with a three-prong approach. Uh, the first thing is I want to create a very diverse, wide array of musical options that we present because the orchestra is so incredibly versatile. We can do everything from Great American Songbook to Hollywood, country, bluegrass, rock and roll, and even hip hop. Secondly, it has to be top tier talent. But also making sure that for the orchestra, they are perfect, brilliant, professional charts, arrangements, orchestrations that are of the quality of this fine orchestra. And lastly, and certainly not least, it has to be a lot of fun. I mean, that's why we're there, is to really entertain people and have a great time. I like to present it in a very classy, sophisticated, polished way, yet at the same time making people in the audience feel very, very comfortable. So when I'm talking to the audience, for example, it feels like I'm just talking to you in your living room and we're putting on a great show. Uh, it just happens to be in this big venue of Jones Hall. And then another thing is that we, we do a lot of building of our own shows, so it's very unique things that you're not gonna find in other cities. It's very hard to pick just one or two or three programs out of the entire series because I love everything, but if I had to pick, Three programs I might be most excited about is the opener, for sure. It's celebrating Ella Fitzgerald at 100 years old in Ella's centennial year, and I'm just a huge Ella Fitzgerald fan. Uh, we have a lot of original Nelson Riddle orchestrations that he did for Ella. We have three incredible voices, uh, young African-American girls. The last time I did this concert, I did it at Carnegie Hall in New York, and it was such a huge, huge success. Secondly, it might be the program uh, we're calling Broadway Today. It's a lot of great music from the hit musicals of Phantom of the Opera, Chicago, Les Miserables, The Book of Mormon, Once, Rent, Bullets Over Broadway, and Honeymoon in Vegas, so there will be some surprises with that. And the third one, I would say, would be Holiday. We're gonna celebrate the holidays with my good friend, Megan Hilty, who has a new Christmas album out and we'll be doing a lot of orchestrations out of that Christmas album. Uh, Megan is an incredible talent, plus it's the holidays. I'm really, really excited to begin my first full season as principal pops conductor of the Great Houston Symphony. It is an entire season worth of great concerts, so I hope people come out to check out all of them.